Well, hey, this is Jared with Stampede Blue. This is your Indianapolis Colts post-game wrap. The Colts lost today on the road in Buffalo uh, to the Bills. Final was 27-24. Uh, and first of all, hats off to the Bills. That's a hell of an organization and football team right there with a bright future. Good luck in the rest of the playoffs. I thought they played a great game today. That's a physical football team. Plays with a lot of team speed. Uh, their stickle players get theirs, and they're going to be a tough out. The Colts lost today because Phillip Rivers threw 46 passes and only completed 27 of them for 309 yards. He did have two touchdowns and did not turn the ball over, nor was he sacked. So it is important to point out that he did throw from a clean pocket. Uh, he wasn't running for his life all day, and he didn't turn it over. Um, so it had to be something else. So a lot of people are calling for Phillip Rivers' jobs, and that ain't it. Jonathan Taylor had 21 carries for 78 yards and a touchdown. Um Average under four yards a carry. Uh, and in football, when your running back struggles like that, you want to see less attempts for him because Naheem Hines had six carries for 75 yards. That's like 12 and a half yards a carry. And you want them to like average out to where they're both averaging over four yards a carry, basically. So I would have given Naheem the ball a little more on offense because he only had one catch. Um, and other than, other than that, 30 carries for 163 yards is 5 yards a carry. So the Colts were able to run the ball effectively, just not today with Jonathan Taylor, basically. Michael Pittman had 100 yards of total offense. He had a carry for 11 yards and 5 catches for 90. And then Jack Doyle had 7 catches for 70 yards. Hats off to Jack Doyle. That's probably his game of the year uh, with a touchdown. And Zach Pascal also caught a touchdown. Um and then, really, the Colts lost uh, because when they took risk, they didn't capitalize. And then also, rookies dropped passes and missed kicks. And in a three-point game, when you drop passes, you stop the clock, you're more likely to give the ball back to the opponent. And then I was going through and trying to figure out what was the real difference in the game. And Josh Allen was 26 of 35 for 324 yards, two touchdowns, and he was sacked twice, but he didn't turn the ball over. The Colts largely struggled to pressure Josh Allen, and that's a lot because you want to keep Josh Allen in the pocket. You don't want to put him under a lot of duress because when he rolls out is when he makes big plays. Um, uh, they noted on TV trying to keep uh, Josh Allen in the well. Um, the Colts uh, failed to spy him a couple times, and he got off uh, good runs. Um, and really... You know, Stephon Diggs, six catches, 128 yards, and a touchdown. Uh, but here's where their game breaks. I would say the Colts had double-digit drops. Let's just call it what it is, right? Gabriel Davis, four catches for 85 yards on four targets. Cole Beasley, seven catches, 57 yards on seven targets. That's the number two and three wide receivers for this team. 11 for 11 on targets and catches. Meanwhile, the Colts had a bunch of drops and a missed field goal. There's your difference in the game right there. The Colts had the drop sees. They failed to capitalize when they took risk. And the Bills just didn't make those same mistakes. Um, I will say all that to say the Colts have a bright future. I don't see anyone really losing their job. And I certainly hope nobody moves on, especially from the coaching staff. In particular, like leadership style players, your your Houstons, your Buckners. I hope they don't, they don't murk out and go work for someone else. And then I wanted to close by uh, talking about the officiating. Um, all year long, I've tried to bite my tongue as much as I can, whether it be on the podcast or these post-game videos I make, and not really talk very much about um, the state of the officiating in the game. Uh, but to close this uh, season for me, I want to point out that um, a couple years ago, it was really um, looking up for the officiating. A new system was going to be implemented. It was passed by vote by owners. The vote went 31 to 1. And Al Riveron and his staff of people at the NFL officiating crew, um, they did not implement that, and they canceled it, mixed it, and decided they weren't going to use it. That's on their heads. Those people's names are Al Riveron. He's the senior vice president of officiating. Russell Yerk, the vice president of instant replay. And Wayne Mackey. And those people report, report to Troy Vincent. The officiating in the NFL on the whole has been terrible all season long. And I'm not saying that's why the Colts lost today. There were only four penalties called both 
uh, all game and two on the Colts and two on the Bills. So that's kind of fair. The problem is, is there were obviously a lot of situations where I felt like the officials were biting their whistle. And that is a problem. And that is a break from the what was going on in the NFL regular season. And so you can see how there's like, it's like there's two leagues, right? There's the NFL regular season where it's kind of a tightly called contest and there are frequently double digit penalties then we get into the playoffs and are playing on the road against a very physical football team and i'm not complaining i'm just saying there are only four penalties in this game really um and i didn't name these people because i want any like thing horrible to happen to them i'm just saying instead of being angry at the bills or being angry at the colts whether as organizations coaches or or players uh, direct your ire where it belongs the NFL officiating office declined to implement a new replay system after NFL owners voted unanimously 31 to 1 to have it happen. And I think the entire replay system needs reworked. I think there, there should be more opportunity to challenge. You should be able to throw a flag and say, I want this instance reviewed for penalty because it wasn't called. The official should have called it and didn't. Um, I just think everything should be reworked. Um, and we'll talk about that on our podcast as we move forward. Uh, congratulations to the Bills again. Uh, congratulations to the Colts. I think that it is fair to congratulate the Colts for getting to the playoffs in a season uh, in which 2021 tore uh, through uh, the world, tore through the world, basically really tore through the United States, uh, managed to largely miss the Colts. Uh, and Bills, both organizations did swimmingly given the circumstances, but I think we're in the middle of a pandemic like the world's never seen, uh, the largest civil rights protest since the 60s, and the worst recession since the Great Depression. And I think any time you're in those situations and still doing okay, um, I think that the organization's on the up and up. I think the same about the Bills too. So I think both teams have bright futures, um, even if the Colts go somewhere else at quarterback. This has been Jared with Stampede Blue. This has been your Indianapolis Colts postgame wrap. Hey, enjoy the rest of the games. Have a great week. And maybe I'll see you soon.